Good day, one and all, and welcome to another theater arts class with me, your teacher, Miss Hosey. I hope you are pumped for this class as we are going to be learning so much and having so much fun as well. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define the term cultural form and discuss its importance in one's identity. So today, we'll be digging through the term cultural form, figuring out what it means and discussing how it impacts us as a people, what is its contribution to our lives as we know it. Culture may be defined as the characteristics and knowledge of a particular group of people encompassing language, religion, cuisine, and social habits, as well as music and the arts. Simply put, our culture is who we are. All the little things that we do that contribute to who we are as a people. The way we walk, the way we talk, the things we eat, the things we wear, the things we enjoy doing as a form of entertainment. This is all about our culture. And we know that our Jamaican culture is very rich, very vibrant, and it has been creating impact all over the world. Now, with that said, that brings us to our very first activity, activity one. Make a list of five distinct features of your Jamaican culture. Go ahead, grab your notebooks and make a list of five things that make your Jamaican culture so unique. Now, cultural forms. For the purpose of this syllabus, the term cultural forms denotes aesthetic practices derived from and identified with particular communities and cultures in the Caribbean. These practices include rituals, festivals, celebrations, games, music, dances, and languages. Now, these are just a lot of big words. And these big words, simply put, are saying the same thing that I explained before. The little things that we do every day, these practices that we do every day are considered cultural forms. And these practices are the aspects that make up our culture. So our music is a cultural form. Food is a cultural form. Our mode of dress is a cultural form. The way we talk is a cultural form. But as a Caribbean people, we have traditional cultural forms that have been practiced by our ancestors way back. And these cultural forms influence our art, influence our music, and influence our modern day lifestyle. So these are the cultural forms that we will be focusing on today. And I'm very sure you are aware of some of these cultural forms and you are very much aware of how they impact us. For example, our traditional music has impacted our modern day music. Our traditional mode of dress has impacted our modern mode of dressing. So if we go back and we look at our traditional cultural forms, which we will do in this subject, we will see and understand how our cultural forms influence us as a people and how our cultural forms influence the practices that are to come. Now, one might ask, why are cultural forms important? Why do we need to understand these cultural forms to begin with? Are they that special? Yes, yes. The answer is yes. Our cultural forms are very important to us. They help us to understand who we are as a people. And if you don't know who you are, you're pretty much lost in society and you're pretty much lost in life. So our cultural forms help us to understand who our ancestors are, where they came from, how hard they fought for us to be who we are today. Some Caribbean cultural forms include kumina, wake, carnival, storytelling, ring games, dinky mini, quadrille, ramlila, maypole, landship, carnival and the list goes on and on and on and on to be honest every part of the caribbean they have their 
own cultural forms that are unique to them and we also have some cultural forms that we share as a caribbean people that we share in our diaspora so carnival is one of those cultural forms that we do have here in jamaica but carnival is also in trinidad and other parts of the caribbean masquerades like john Kono are practiced in Jamaica and practice in other parts of the Caribbean. The Jose Festival is practiced in parts of Clarendon in Jamaica and also practiced in parts of Trinidad. So our cultures are overlapping. Our Caribbean cultures are similar because we all went through colonization and colonization impacted all of these Caribbean countries. And as a result, our culture is very similar yet so different. Now you might be wondering what does the term colonization mean? Now colonization simply means to settle among and force control over a group of indigenous people of a particular area. And this is how the Caribbean culture came to life through colonization, through slavery, where other parts of the world, persons from Spain, persons from France, persons from the Dutch colonies, persons from the British colonies, came to the Caribbean, settled in the Caribbean and took control over the indigenous people of the Caribbean who were then the Amerindians and they went a step further to now transport slaves from West Africa through a form of migration to the Caribbean. So the Caribbean is somewhat of a melting pot that was influenced by all of these people that came there how oh, many hundreds of years ago so they came to the caribbean and they settled in the caribbean with their norms with their practices with their lifestyles and as such we took on all these norms we took on all these practices of all these different nations of people and we adapted and made so many things our own that explains our jamaican motto out of many one people out of all of these nations, we became one and gave birth to our culture. Now I'm going to test to see how much you were listening and how much you really do understand from all that I have said. We're now at activity two. And activity two simply asks you to write a poem or song expressing what your Jamaican culture means to you. And guys, be sure to outline aspects of your culture that you really enjoy and be sure to explain to us why you enjoy these aspects so much. Now go ahead and grab those notebooks again. And if you just need to review this information, feel free to go back to the front of this video and listen all over again before completing this activity. Be sure you understand 100% before you even attempt. Good luck! And right after activity two, you are expected to jump into activity three. Our culture is who we are. Write one paragraph with two points supporting this statement. Now, you are agreeing with this statement. You are saying, yes, my culture is who I am. Give me two points. Write two points in your paragraph to say why your culture is who you are. Come on, grab those books again. You shouldn't even have put them down in the first place. And guys, good luck. Okay, so this brings us to the end of today's lesson on Caribbean cultural forms and how they impact our identities. Now guys, you are expected to complete activities 1, 2, and 3 in Google Docs and upload them directly to Google Classroom. If you have any questions in regard to this topic, you can go ahead and respond on Google Classroom. Please do not comment in the comment section. Until next time, keep safe.